I am Ben Gardner, co-host of the Backyard Gardens podcast. I'm a documentary filmmaker and a passionate gardener. Our garden is a family effort and we all chip in in our own way. In the gardener house, we grow to cook and cook to grow. This is the Backyard Kitchen. All right, sweetie, what are we making today? We are making salmon and feta spinach. And we're going to pair it with a lime peppermint limeade. So what we have here is we have obviously salmon because you can't cook salmon without salmon. Yep. We have Old Bay, which is a staple for our area, which is North Carolina and Virginia, Maryland. I would call it a staple, wouldn't you? It goes on everything. Everything. It's amazing. And then we have feta spinach butter goes into the spinach a little bit of salt in case we need it some cracked pepper because we're, we're fancy mm -hmm. and then the drink is simply a lime and peppermint and if you grow peppermint or spearmint in your garden you know that it'll take the whole thing over so we're always trying to find new ways to use it so we can keep it at bay and enjoy what we grow absolutely correct absolutely correct amundo so let's let's do this. Let's get this thing cooking. So I'm going to cook the salmon and we are actually going to add oil to this one because this pan is not a nonstick pan. So you do need some oil and I like to crisp up the salmon a little bit. <clears throat> so get this nice and warm, which won't take long. Da -da. And while I do that, you should start on the on our drinky drinks yeah. all right let's move this pile of spinach over here so it's not in your way all right so first i'm just gonna work on cutting up my lime i'm gonna cut the ends off and then i'll slice it and what we're gonna do is we're gonna season this fairly heavy. So I like to pre-season a bit because when you flip stuff, it loses a lot of the seasoning. So I go heavy and then when we flip it, we lose it and that way we still have some of that good old flavor. Old Bay goes on everything. Everything. As a matter Seafood. of fact, it goes on where were you just reading it from? Burgers, chicken, seafood. Fries, corn on the cob, and everything. Toss and wings, pasta, and popcorn. What? what? Them old bay chips are good, but they're salty as all get oh, out. crab chips. If you've never had a crab chip, gotta have it. So I love this thing. This is my little juicer. No, that's not what you call it. Tell everybody what you call it. It's my vintage juicer because I'm sure they've got fancier juicers now. We have a fancier juicer for, for when we make juices, but... Yeah, but you don't want to do all that cleaning for something like this. It's just nice when you've got like one or two things to juice. Now, I'll tell you what I don't ever want to juice again by hand is key limes. Those are like this big, they're super tiny. And I did it one time and I'll just buy the juice from now on in the big old container. The juice. The juice. I guess we've said we've used Jules a, two, a few times. I guess I should tell the story behind it, huh? You should. I was thinking about it, but I didn't want to bring it up because I didn't want to make you tell it if you didn't want to tell it. Oh, I don't care. It was only the creepiest moment of my life. <laughs> so I used to be a marine biologist and I would go out on boats and basically live on boats for a period of time. And this gentleman, we all had to share a bunk and we were on the boat and we took a break from um, what we were doing and we were sleeping. And when I got up in the morning, he was from, I don't know where he was from, like Haiti or Jamaica or something like that. But he had an accent and um, we were eating, this is when I ate meat, so we were eating steak and he was like, the juice, the <laughs> juice from the steak is so good. And I was like, yeah. So then, to build on the accent a little bit, I was sleeping that night, and when I woke up for the next shift, he came up to me, he's like, Jewel, I was looking at you last night, and Jewel was sleeping like a baby. Jewel was sleeping just like a baby, and I was like, 
All right, when are we getting back to the dock? Cause this is a little bit intense. Woo, you know what's intense? All that uh, mint I just put in there. So look, hold up. You got to do the clap. What are you talking about? The you clap? don't know about the clap? No. Oh. I don't think it's, I don't think I'm thinking what you're thinking. You apparently are not thinking what I'm thinking because you would have done it. Hold on, let me, let me get a little bit of this old bay on here. You take the mint, so you got to release the enzymes and the flavor. I know, I was squishing it like that. Yeah, you put it in your hand. You, obviously more than one leaf, but I don't want to steal your thunder. And yeah. You clap it. Oh. And you put it in. No, I was sitting here just kind of mashing it in my fingers. I know what you were doing. <laughs> I know exactly what you were doing. We've been married way too long for me not to know the answer to these things. I got lime and I got mint. And it smells good. Jewel is sleeping like a baby. That's a creepy thing to wake up to. That's my life. Nothing but creep. So I like to put the spinach in the same pan and let it cook because I got space and it's just easier that way. So what's, what are you doing now with this, this rig you got going on, this limeade? All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do with this rig is I've got my lime juice and I've got my mint. And now I'm gonna add some sweetness because you gotta have some sugar. I've got two kinds. I've got some stevia and then I've just got regular granulated sugar. The so, stevia is for me. Yes. I don't do um, added sugars generally. Good Lord, that's gonna be sweet. That's like in the episode of The Office. Four splendors. <laughs> well, so. Are you crazy? <laughs> that, that's the equivalent to maybe two splendors. So when you use um, any sort of sugar substitute, usually in baking, it's about half to half, but you definitely don't need as much because it is sweeter tasting. So for Ben's, I put one teaspoon for mine. I'm putting two and then we'll give it a taste and go from there. See if we need, see if we need to add more. And then I've got a cup of ice here and I'm going to add some water. That's good because I'm getting thirsty. And I'm going to do a little taste testing. Can I taste test it? You can taste test it in a minute. That okay. mint right there is going to get all up in my nose. You know what I'm saying? Give it a little stir. Put some ice, chill it. Now, what's your rule on ice? What do you mean, what's my rule? Well, during the summertime. I don't drink ice. You don't drink ice. I don't like my water cold. During the winter time, you usually take just one cube. What? <laughs> <laughs> A single cube. A single cube, yes. I, I mean, I like it chilled, but I'm a firm believer that um, water that is room temperature hydrates you better. So, and I can drink it faster because I don't really like to drink. Hold on now. Look at you. You are one way like I just had street. to try it before to know if I need more sugar. Cheers. Cheers. See, mine needs more sugar. Mine's it's not good. perfect yet. I'm going to sip on that for a bit. Now we're finally getting the spinach to cook down. You know, this isn't a complicated drink. It's a nice, easy drink. There's a lot of things I like to do in life that are simple, but make me feel fancy. And this is one of them. What else makes you feel fancy? Remember, this is a family friendly show. Eating chocolate in the bathtub. That makes me feel fancy. That's borderline. <laughs> I'm joking. No, you like stealing all our son's chocolate. Yeah, I might have done that a little bit earlier. Especially at Halloween time, it's free game. I'm like, ah, that's a parent's right. I'm like, are you tired? Yeah, let's just go to like two more houses. Cause I know that's gonna be our candy if we go to two more houses yeah. and I don't feel bad. Yeah, the only thing is, is this gets up my nose. We could have been super fancy and brought out straws, I suppose. Nah. All right, so you so, want me to put the butter in the spinach? Is that how you like it? Yes, so I like to add the feta and the butter together because- At the same time? Uh-huh. Okay. Let me move it over. 
this is one of those meals that's a staple in our house. The salmon's a fattier fish. You don't need the butter, but I just, I like it as a flavor enhancer for this meal. Is that too much butter, you think? No, that's fine. Because I don't ever add butter. No, that's fine. That's why we cook different. So I was going to ask you what your opinion on plastic versus paper straws were us. I would rather not drink. If somebody came to me and said, you have to use a paper straw or you can never drink again, I would say, well, then I will see you in three days in heaven because I will not drink anymore. I do not like paper straws. I don't like them either. The whole argument, I think, is that they're more environmentally friendly. But can we talk about balloons? Because you want to know what's worse for sea turtles? Balloons, balloons look just like jellyfish, and that's what sea turtles eat. I've never cut open a sea turtle and seen a straw, but I have seen balloons. And yes, I have cut up a few sea turtles. Back to the marine science days. But I don't just go around cutting up sea turtles, so. But either way, you know, they actually are making those biodegradable sea turtles, not sea turtles. Um, straws. Straws now that are like plastic. Have you had those? I have not had those. They're good. I've seen the metal ones. Did you go crazy with the lime? I might have. Do I got lime on my face? You got lime, got lime all over your face. That it's from the so drink. so good, she wore it. I do feel fancy drinking it though, and it is delicious. All right. It's delightful. It's refreshing. It is good. Refreshing and minty. Again, fresh herbs make a big difference. Yes, they do. Okay, so let's get a plate out. All right. So we're gonna start with our spinach. See, we gotta try and be eating Steven about it. You know what I mean? Yep. Now, do you need to add a lot of salt to this? You don't add any salt to it because okay. the, I gave you more spinach, lucky you. The spinach is actually my favorite part of the dish. Um, this, the Old Bay is actually very salty. And as you know, and if you don't know at home, spinach happens to be, I don't wanna say it's salty, but it definitely, if you add salt to it, it can be overpowering very quickly. Yeah. It smells delicious. But you know what? I like to get all the, the scrappies out. That's like my thing. All right. Easy meal, one pan meal. One pan, easy. You ready? I'm ready. Is it gonna be hotter than fire? Yeah, of course it is. Mm-hmm. Mm We're missing a cracked pepper. We are missing the cracked pepper. Oh, well, I should have asked you. Tell me when. Since we're being fancy. Yeah, when we do that and then you go to the restaurant, like, tell me when you do it, you do it, you do it, you do it. And I'm like, they're like, are you ready? I'm like, no, nah, keep going, keep going, because I really like pepper. It's like the Blues Brothers when they go, wrong glass, yeah. and he just holds it up. So are you growing spinach in the garden right now? We are growing spinach right now. It is just now starting to sprout. Mm -hmm. And we are growing, I think we're just growing standard spinach, but next year we're gonna grow the spinach that gets like eight inch leaves. That's so, insanely big. Yeah. That's like really big. So you can have like a salad off of like two leaves or something. I want to give it a shot. The bearded dragon is going to be stunned. He's my baby. He is. Why is he your baby? I don't know. He just is. What does he do? He's cute and he runs around the house and he does this. And he cuddles at night. There's the key. Not that the cat the dog, the child is enough. The cat doesn't snuggle, so let's make that clear right now. <laughs> <laughs> she lays on her corner and plots how to murder us. The cat's a monkey. Yeah. This is a delicious meal. Yeah, this is good. The drink tops it off, I mm -hmm. think. It's very, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now, this isn't working for me. 
I was gonna say, and Ben's not really a big fan of lime, so the fact that I can get him to drink lime juice is I like, awesome. No, I like lime on certain foods. Yeah, but when I put lime in my water, <laughs> and you drink my water and you're not expecting the lime, you I'm, a big, a, I'm a big fan of just putting a little bit of lemon or a little bit of lime in my water. Yeah, you should be. I don't want scurvy. I, you know what? <laughs> You're not going to get scurvy. I know. But I don't want it. No? <laughs> I want to make sure I don't get it. No, you're not going to get scurvy. You're good. Well, that's That's excellent. why oranges are good. The right time of year. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Never eat an orange in the summer. Don't eat one from South Africa. Just don't do it. No offense, South Africa. We love you. But it not just, your it, oranges. It comes from too far away. And we do a... Like in our household, what we do is we try to eat within the seasons. So, as the basically what we do is, and we buy our fruits and vegetables. We try our best if we're not growing them, which you know, ideally, and I think we get about maybe about forty percent of our vegetables out of it in the summertime, out of the garden. Yeah. Which hopefully will go up in the years to come. But we try and get stuff that's grown in north in the continent continent of North America. Yeah. So you know, Canada's fine. Mexico. Mexico, stuff like that. But that means that it's a little bit riper. We think. I mean, we can. It doesn't have to travel as far, you know. It doesn't have to travel as far. So, and it just makes sense. And I mean, that way you can ensure that your diet is well rounded throughout the year. Yeah. You know, like I don't eat apples. Well, and then you're guaranteed to eat good fruit because nobody goes likes to go to the store and buy a piece of fruit and expect to have something good and it sits there for a week, doesn't get ripe, and then it just goes rotten. Yeah. You know, that's usually what happens yeah. with food that's not totally fresh. But Kiwis are a weird one because I've actually found Kiwis from the United States, but most of the time they're from either Peru or Italy. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what time of year it is that Kiwis are from here, but... When they are from here, they're very good. I don't think it's long, is it? No, it's like a month period, maybe. I don't get the kiwis because our son eats them constantly. Mm -hmm. He crushes them. So you didn't even use any salt, right? I did not use any salt. Did you need it? No. No, I didn't think you would. I'm not really a big salt person anyway, but I'll go, I'll go heavy on the sugar. Yeah. But I didn't need any salt. No. It's perfectly fine. But also the Old Bay, the Old Bay's got a lot of salt too. It does have a lot of salt. Yeah. Old Bay or Zatarain's? Mm-hmm. Which one? Old Bay. No? No Zatarain's for you? When it comes to seasoning, no. I grew up in Maryland. I'm tried and true. Yeah. Truth. Mm-hmm. All right. So look. I feel like I wish everybody could be here with us right now because I, I am feel, thoroughly enjoying this a whole lot. I feel lot. like and they are here. <laughs> They're here virtually like That's the rest right. of the world is. So if you're growing some mint, try and mix it up in some drinks and get crazy with it. Get creative and don't let it just take over your whole garden. You know, there's a lot of things you can do with it. And um, grow some food, cook some food, and until next time, we'll catch you guys later. I'm looking for a cat. <laughs> there she is. <laughs>